Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's video we'll continue our flutter and parse series of videos and our sub-series of data objects where we will discuss all the properties and data types supported by parse. So today we are going to talk about booleans. Uh, parse support booleans natively, so all you have to do is to create a new column, choose the data type boolean, Give it a good name. Let's call this uh, is field. I'm sorry, is done. And click add a column. And for all my uh, existing objects, once again, it will be undefined unless I set a default value for it. If I want to change it, when I double click it, it will give me a checkbox that I can have it set to true or to false manually. And now let's see how to do it by code. Here I have my Visual Studio and I have my back dart class that we created on last videos. So we're going to set oops, and then pass the property name, in this case is named is done. And then the value that we want, true or false. I'm going to save this as true. Going to save it, cancel my previous execution, run flutter run. Choose my simulator is the number two. Bring my simulator back to the front. It will recompile everything. It takes a couple of minutes. There we go. And if I go back to my parse dashboard and refresh, you'll see here I have my new object with the is done set as true. This is very useful, especially when you have to filter a content based on a true or false state. And you can also validate this on cloud code if needed. So once again, it's a very, very flexible data type that you can enjoy using inside your Flutter application when you use parse. So I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next ones of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.